Losing work sucks. Having a great time editing. No. Here's a few quick tips to make sure that you never lose work again in DaVinci Resolve. Number one, Live Save. Live Save is a feature within DaVinci Resolve which, when enabled, will automatically save your current project every single time you make a change. I've saved that bit. Thank you. You don't need to save that. No, I've saved yes. that bit. No, I've already saved that bit. Yeah. I'm, I, I, yeah. Oh, oh. Yes, I'm up. Yeah. I saved it. Wait, no. yeah, Thank I saved you. It. You need to manually save your project at least once for Live Save to become active, even if you've enabled it within the settings. So first things first, how do you enable it? Within DaVinci Resolve, click on DaVinci Resolve top left hand corner and then go to Preferences. When this window appears, click on User at the very top and then from the left hand menu go to Project Save and Load and then you just need to tick this Live Save box and then click Save. Boom! Live save is active. But as I mentioned before, you need to make sure that you manually save your project at least once for live save to actually do its job. Yeah, Thank exactly. you. Number two, project backups. You can set DaVinci Resolve to automatically back up your projects at different intervals. Go to the same place as before, DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, User, Project Save and Load, and then you've got Project Backups. Give that a tick to activate it. Underneath here, you can change the frequency as you need. And then you can change the location of the backups here by changing this Project Backup Location. Once you're done, simply hit Save. Now, how do you actually restore them? Well, that's really quick. Let me show you how. Open up your Project Manager here. I'm gonna go to this Mr. Beast demo project that I've got. I'm gonna right click, and then I've got the options down here for Project Backups. If I give that a click, I can see all of the backups that have automatically been created. So as you can see here, I've only got the one, but if I was to give that a click, I could load into this backup, I could delete it, I could delete all of them, or I could hit refresh just to see if any more backups have been created. So we've got Live Save and our project backups enabled, but what about the actual DaVinci Resolve database itself? Well, that can be backed up too, and again, it's super quick and easy. So once again, we need to hop into our project manager. So I'm just going to click on my little house icon, bottom right hand corner to open this up. Now I've got my menu on the left hand side here, as you can see where it says databases. If you don't see this, you just need to click on this little icon here just to expand that so you can see the databases on the left. Most of you will probably only have one disk database called local database like I do here. Give that a click. And then from the little icons at the top, you want the far left icon. It says backup. Give that a click. And then all you need to do is to choose the location that you want to save this local database.resolve.diskdb. Choose your location, hit save, and that's your DaVinci Resolve database successfully backed up. If your computer does decide to sh the bed and you need to restore that database, you simply click on restore from the project manager screen this time, find that database file, open it up, and you're good to go. So that's all well and good. But what about if you're in the middle of a project, you've created a really cool edit, but you've just had a great idea, you want to try something else, but you don't want to lose what you've already done. Well, there's a quick solution for that as well. <laughs> hey, duplicate the timeline. So I'm in the edit page here, I've got this timeline, but I want to experiment a little bit, but not lose what I've already got. First thing you want to do, open up the media pool and then locate the timeline that you're working on. So I've got this one here, tutorial. All I'm going to do is right click on this timeline and then we're going to go to duplicate timeline. That will create a copy. So now I've got tutorial copy. If I open that up, you can see it's exactly the same timeline. So now I can either continue working on tutorial or I can work on tutorial copy. I can make any changes do what I want to do, knowing that if I don't like what I've done, I can simply jump back to my original tutorial timeline and everything will be exactly as we left it. This is a really cool workflow because not only are you making sure that you've saved stuff, so if you do some work, you don't have to redo it if you preferred what you had before, but it also makes comparisons easier. Once you've made all those changes to your new timeline, you can flick back between the two timelines, comparing them, seeing which one you prefer, and then you can keep working on that one going forwards. Winner. My next tip, exporting project archives. Have you ever worked on a project so important that the fear of losing it actually keeps you up at night? Yeah, me too. So here's what I do. I export the entire project to an external hard drive or SSD. That includes everything, the project itself, the timelines, the bins within, and even the media files. I make sure they're backed up, so if my computer was to die, I can simply and quickly restore everything to a different device. And here's how you do it. 
Once again, project manager. So we're gonna open up the project manager, clicking on our little house icon. Find the project that you want to back up. So I'm gonna use my Mr. Beast demo. We're gonna right click, and then we're gonna come down to export project archive. Give that a click. Give it a name if you need to, select the location, and then simply hit save. And then you'll be prompted by this pop-up. You wanna make sure that the location is correct at the top, and then you get the options to choose what you want to be backed up. I only ever tick media files, so I'm gonna untick the render cache, and I'm not gonna bother with the proxy media either. So I've just got media files ticked, and then I'm gonna click on OK, and that project is then gonna be backed up to that location. Now I untick that render cache because there's very little point in backing up your render cache. A, it will be huge and probably take ages to transfer, and B, generally it can just simply be recreated on the other device. So just untick it and just go with your media files. Once that's done and you've backed it up, restoring that project is really quick and easy. You've probably guessed it, all we need to do from the project manager, find an empty space, right click, and then you're just gonna go to restore project archive. It'll ask you for the location of the archive, so mine is here. You don't wanna double click on the folder to drill into it. You actually just want to select the top level folder here. So mine says mrbeastdemo.dra, and then we're gonna hit open. Job done, easy peasy. Now, if you don't wanna mess around creating bins for every project, instead, you can use smart bins. Check out this video here, where I'll show you exactly how to do that. Take it easy, bye now.